Hello and welcome to Untold History. This video is the second part of Reza's diary, I will leave a link to the first one in the description. Reza Shonina was a young Russian girl who wanted to do her bit in fighting the Germans and became a sniper, in fact, she was the greatest woman sniper of World War II with 59 confirmed kills, one will now read to you the extracts from her diary. October 17, 1944. War. Spent the night by Vovik Emelianov with Sasha and Kali, but also accidentally got left behind, and was found. Breakthrough of the German border near the city of Normiestis, Lithuania. Invited to the tanks, was introduced to the tank unit. What good, delicate guys. I'm always known from the newspapers. Met the artillery guys, who saw five of our girls killed at the Neiman River. They see that our fate is not easy. Again ready to run away to the front, even crying, that is was not allowed. I want, how can I explain? Some force draws me there, I get bored here. Some people think that I'm chasing a boyfriend, but I do not know anyone there. I want to see a real war. Prevented, because I am a platoon commander, or else I would have already gone. October 18, 1944. Searched for the cartouche not found. We spent the night in another battery. Attack. Break through the border. They met Vonya and the 338th Rifle Division. What a meeting. Separated again. Found a division of ours. Already straying on German territory. Prisoners, killed, wounded. Attacked bunker, took 27 prisoners, 14 officers, hard resistance. Going home to my division. I see the division headquarters. Drove up closer to the front. Spent the night by, Sergei, Arzmak. He likes me, but he is very prideful, it seems, and that's why he likes me. Was with General Kazarian, and the political commissar, sincerely cried when I was not allowed to the front, how to explain. Arrived home and received a letter from Agnes Buterina. I always remember this girlfriend from grades 5 to 7 well. She writes that her life is fractured, boring. I believe she has no children, and no other girlfriends in her life. So it will be after the war. It seems to me that whenever I'm sent to the rear, I dream about escaping to the front. October 20, 1944. Yesterday once again ran to the front. There was an attack, but here we stood, entrenched. Rain, mud and cold. Long night, we march on. October 24, 1944. Was in no condition to write. Fought. Went together with everyone. Wounded, killed. I returned with the forward regiment commander. Oh God, how much gossip. I remember I cried in the battalion, resentful, that I was allowed to tell a bad joke. I found it disrespectful. I remember their fallen comrades during this period. I was waiting for the same fate, and here's my thanks. Even my girlfriends joked ironically. The world is filled with lies. It seems I don't have the strength to look at the end of life in this lying world. Got eight letters from Yashka Gutkov. Because of that I responded with a small one out of courtesy, etc. He does everything for me, expected a photo, and now I get here and I won't write back. Yashka understands proper army girls. October 25, 1944. Always nice to have a girlfriend. Sasha, Alexandra Ekimova, I am with you, and sadness is sometimes fun. I share with you all that is in my soul. I brought Colonel Novojilov my letter, in which I asked to be sent to the front and criticized our officers. October 28, 1944. Battle of Pilkolin, now Dobrovolsk, Kaliningrad, Russia. The city has taken many of ours, all of them killed. From the Strafbach Company, one man returned alive, unharmed, the rest were killed. I myself fought for a place under Pilkolin. Many times we took it and were expelled. Very successfully fought back a counterattack. Fifteen kills for sure, as I was at close range and shot a lot. 
We watched four artillerymen through tenfold and sixfold binoculars. When Fritz started to crawl we could still see their helmets, shot at them. Bullets were ricocheting off their helmets, which we could see well because there were tracer cartridges. First at a distance of 200 meters, then they stood up to full height 100 meters out. When they got within 20 meters we fled. We were behind an embankment in the woods and escaped easily. Sent to the house, but the Slavs had all fled. We were left alone. Beside me Captain Asayev, our artillery division commander, artillerist, hero of the Soviet Union, was killed. And we finally retreated. Order, re-establish the position. We crawled back and took the house, expelled Fritz. Then I went to the regimental command, tired, and ate for the first time that day. By this time it was twelve in the evening, and I slept soundly. Suddenly I heard shooting from the basement. Fritz, fifteen of them, crawling. They smashed the artillerymen, who had heard, being near the house, in the barn. The girls were all cowards and fled. Caleria was the brave one. The girls saw the danger and were ready to tear me to pieces when I led them to the front. Sasha Koroneva was killed in the fight and two were wounded, Valia Lazarenko and Anna Kuznetsova. I was afraid to go home, as the girls will stick all the blame on me. Soldiers, the boys, and commanders, are pleased by my bravery. It came before the commanders, and I was recommended for the Order of Glory First Degree for repelling those attacks. November 1, 1944. Letter to Pyotr Molchanov. Day before yesterday buried girlfriend in arms Sasha Koroneva. Two more of our girlfriends were wounded, Lazarenko Valia and Shmaliva Zina. Maybe you remember them. November 3, 1944. Letter to Pyotr Molchanov. Returned from the front completely exhausted. This war will be remembered. Four times the town passed from hand to hand. Three times I got out from under the noses of the fascists. In truth, war on enemy territory is a serious matter. November 5, 1944. Went a long time without writing, there was no time, was at the front. Went with the girls to Vovka. Chatted, that due to Captain Asayev being killed, I look a little lost when I'm by myself. He was boozy and wouldn't leave, although we had to, in order to be on time, so we insisted. I really like Nikolai Shevchenko, lieutenant in the artillery, brother of the pilot Shevchenko, who is a hero of the Soviet Union. He is in love with me, but is not very tall, and I don't like even a little shorter than me, and so I suffer for it. Spent the night with Nikolai Fedorov. Good guy. He dates on me, gets me anything I want, suit, hat, gifts. Only I don't like him. Ah, my enigmatic nature. I take advantage of his gifts when I don't love him. An enigmatic nature, Chekhov. Celebration night, Great October Socialist Revolution Day, November 7th. Invitations, made a schedule starting with the 5th and ending. But alas, November 6th to 7th we work in the days and then collapse. Evening of the 6th, Katie Usher boys. Tankers arrived, Vovka clock off. I wanted to go to, Nikolai, Borovic on the holiday, but work during the day. The Katie Usher boys are as good as the rest of the guys. Only Vovka let Ice and I love like a little brother but he hinted at something I didn't like. Flashed my dagger. I do not understand anything, even life, it's all so intertwined. November 7, 1944. Spent the morning of the 7th on the front. Spent the evening of the 6th with Nikolai Fedorov, fun, but unexpected. A photographer came from Moscow. The generals called me, as a representative of the girls, a frontline sniper. But Nikolai did not want me to leave, and did not tell me that I was called. On the morning of the 7th I met with the generals, and they scolded me for not coming. I said, not told. Home. Invitations, guys, sugar, and sweetheart, and hell. I decided not to go anywhere because I was dirty, tired. 
Out of the blue an invitation from Molchanov's army. I could not refuse. Very good comrades, and thought that they maybe went somewhere else. Cough, but I went anyway. Arrived there, ill for two nights, and the seventh laid in bed. So, the seventh, half in Germany, half in Lithuania or the USSR. I came home, got a bunch of letters, but none which pleased me. Worried about Nikolai. He disgusted me, and he acted very badly, wanted to get drunk on the sixth and take advantage. I can't stand it. Yashka wrote that he is fed up. He is stupid, I didn't realize it then. I thought he was a good guy. I only occasionally respond to his letters, and he just wants a photo. November 11, 1944. Called by General Kazarian. Criticized for poor discipline, patrols, absences. During the holidays there were not any. Truthfully, our division did not do anything, but they need to make a fuss just the same. What can we do, when the tops don't work with us? Our squad is working normally. I came home, Nikolai F. sitting in the muddy street. He came to apologize for what he did, but there were a lot of people around, and he said nothing, and seemed sad. I received a letter from the preschools in Moscow and Archangelsk. They were all proud of my achievements. Yes, my portrait was in the Humor magazine on November 7. But I was too overrated. I do only what is required of every Soviet soldier, and everyone. I am famous everywhere, it's a lot. Thank you for watching to the very end and I hope you enjoyed it. I will be doing more videos of Rosa Shania diary extracts so please like and subscribe to Untold History so you don't miss the rest.